Hi, welcome to today's video. Hope you'll enjoy it. Let's get into it. In this video, we're going to be making some biscuits. I've left a list of ingredients and equipment on the screen and instructions so you can follow along if you want to. So, the equipment that you're going to need for making these biscuits. The first piece of equipment you'll need is two bowls. The second piece of equipment you'll need is two forks to help mix the chocolate. You will also need a plate and a heat source like a microwave or you can use a saucepan and a stove to melt the chocolate. And you will need a fridge or a cold space to help the chocolate solidify as it cools once we've finished um, decorating, I guess. Um, for this um, biscuits, um, you're going to need plain rich tea biscuits and two chocolate bars of your choice. Um, I chose to use cookie crunch and salted caramel. Okay, so the first step that we're going to do to make these biscuits is to take two bowls, put them to one side. Um, one chocolate bar at a time, break um, the chocolate into small chunks um, and place them into the bowls. Do not <laughs> mix the chocolates into the same bowl because it will make it taste funny. Um, let's move on to the next step. Okay, so for the second step, once you've separated your chocolates into two separate bowls, um, we're going to have to melt chocolate. Um, ask someone for help if you need to because this is going to be hot and I wouldn't want anyone to injure themselves. Um, so do this very carefully. Um, breaking the chocolate into smaller pieces will help it to melt quicker so it won't take so long for the reaction of melting the chocolate to happen. So for step three, once you have melted the chocolate and it's runny and goopy. You're going to place your biscuits onto a plate and you can either dip them into the chocolate or drizzle the chocolate over the top of your biscuits. Um, once your biscuits are coated with chocolate, just put them back on the plate. Let's move on to the next step. Now that the biscuits are coated with chocolate, we're going to leave them on the plate and put them into the fridge or a cold space so that the chocolate will cool down quickly and the chocolate will solidify. And once that has happened, they will be ready to eat. Now that the chocolate has solidified, you can take them out of the fridge and they're ready to enjoy. Share them with your friends, family. These snacks are really great for parties, like for young children, tea parties, snack on the go, or just a really good comfort food. Thanks for watching and hope you enjoy making these biscuits. Hope you have enjoyed. I'll be posting on Wednesdays and Saturdays from now on. Um, hopefully you'll try baking some of these um, biscuits. Until next time, goodbye.